What's going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video, this time in the Lamborghini Huracan GT3 around Barcelona and um, yeah, something a little bit different this time, I'm actually going to run a lap in the uh, Lambo but the first lap is going to be um, 19 Celsius with the track pretty cool and then I'm going to do another lap and I'm just going to show you the adjustments that I make for the hotter temperatures, I think the track's around 44 Celsius for the second lap which I'm not actually going to complete the lap I'm just going to show the end and show the time that I've got a lot of the time when I um, do setups and you might take a setup and jump on track and the track temperature is completely different from what I've set the car up in and feel like the setup doesn't work or something like that so I'm going to show you the small little adjustments you make um, and when you're sort of changing from one temperature to another a lot of the time mainly it is tire pressures but also you might want to fiddle with a couple of other things as well just to make sure that the car is still comfortable to drive because obviously when it's super hot um, your tires might start overheating and you might start sliding so I can sort of show you guys what to adjust but let's get stuck into this video So you can see we're able to do a really fast time when the track temperature is pretty cool and the air temp was pretty cool as well. Always aids faster times and sometimes though you might want to put in a little bit of more rear downforce. Sometimes I just go click up on the rear downforce when it's really cold because um, the car tends, tends to sort of be a little bit more sharp turning in so sometimes for a little bit of safety I put a little bit of rear wing on but I actually kept the rear wing the same um, I think I actually made this setup a couple of weeks ago and the track was about 30 or so so I wanted to just try it with the cool temperatures and see what it was like and the car was pretty nailed on um, it was a good lap first time I've actually got in the 41 so I was pretty happy with that um, and yeah the, the Lamborghini around Catalonia really suits this car um, I do like the Lambo but it just seems to be so sketchy around some of the other circuits especially sort of the fast changes of direction that like Maggots and Beckett's at Silverstone really tricky um, I found the best thing to do is just don't shift down to fourth just keep it in fifth keep it in high gears in the Lambo and that sort of stabilizes the car a little bit but anyway coming towards the end of the lap and um, you can see now we've pretty pretty much nailed um, all the corners before this I wouldn't say this last sector was spectacular um, but it was good enough to, to get the time obviously and I like to stay like really out wide before I turn to this corner gives you sort of a wider entry and you can get on the power a, a little bit sooner and I actually miss the second apex so there was a little bit more time there through the uh, second to last corner but um, 
it's difficult chicane so I'd rather do that than hit the hit the um, sausage curb on the inside but um, yeah anyway as we go delve into the setup obviously always share the setup with you guys and yeah as you can see we try and um, make the tire pressure so the tires stay between 28 and 28.5 um, that's sort of the temperature you want especially when you're doing sort of quali or hot lapping you want your tires to be in the right right window all the time so bear in mind that you're gonna have to use different tire pressures for each tire um, you can't just get away with being lazy and just stick in the fronts and the rears on the same thing it doesn't really doesn't really work um, I found myself trying to make the the Lamborghini not so pitch sensitive so it, the car was reasonably soft on the damper side of things um, but uh, yeah other than that for me personally this is probably one of the best tracks for the Lamborghini for me personally um, a lot of the other tracks as I said it you feel like you're about to kill yourself as soon as you uh, go into certain corners but um, moving on now I'm going to move on to the sort of end of the lap with the hotter temperatures which it was about 44 celsius it's, um, extremely hot um, track temperature but we've managed to come around you can see the left hand tires starting to burn up um, we managed to come around with a 42.9 which I was, I was pretty happy with I actually thought it was probably a better lap than the lap I did the 41.9 in to be honest but um, if we jump into the setup we can sort of see the little things I've changed just to sort of um, make sure the car is not too bad with the hot temperatures so you can see I've adjusted the tire pressures um, from left to right and what you got to think of as well is just because it's hotter it doesn't mean that you can just go down say you know you go down by 10 clicks because you know the temperature is 10 degrees higher you got to think about the load that your tires are going to go through on the hotter track so for instance your left hand tires because the track is so much hotter the tires are going to take even more damage than they would if it was cooler so you want to compensate for that as well also think about adapting your driving style maybe go off throttle for a little bit um, as you're going through certain corners obviously the main one in the aero is to open up your brake ducts to help your brakes get cooler air which will in turn help cool your tires down so you don't want to put your tires through too much stress because obviously as you're going through like the long turn free you're going to want your tires to survive that corner especially if you're doing a longer race but anyway it's cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace don't, don't.